I'm here with Martin Duffy and we are setting up for the next online course, Past Life Regression. Can you tell us a little bit about the course and what's going to be uh, on the curriculum? Well, it's on past life regression, uh, really about healing your past life. And the whole approach to the course is kind of a Jungian transpersonal perspective, using past life regression for healing and for therapy, uh, according to the people like um, Roger Wolger here, Jungian analyst, uses um, regression, hypnosis, um, I put my own twist on it in the shamanic journey and kind of sense and then using dream work. So I'm going to be looking at um, reincarnation and the transmigration of the soul for example, um, the unfinished dramas of the soul. So when we are living our lives now we have certain issues going on that we often think are just related to our childhood or maybe even perinatal and childhood stuff. But in the work I have done with people I find when you go deeper into the coax as Stan Groff calls it you find that our residues are what they call samskaras from other lifetimes that are affecting people's lives now. So you can have uh, phobias about um, animals or snakes or, or different situations. You can have physical illnesses, you can have psychological problems. And you find when you go back to this idea of the coax, the layered level that goes back in a spiral down Right, yeah, you get the resonances in childhood. You get the resonances in the birth trauma, in the perinatal dimension. But often the true healing only actually happens very, very deeply. And many people in holotropic breathwork and things like that will say, it's when they get to the past life memory and resolve the trauma back then that the healing happens. Mm. And what would you say have you experienced from doing this type of work with people in the past that uh, what kind of changes or, or kind of um, results do you see from, from doing that sort of work? Well, it's like, you know, when we look at the unfinished business, we look at um, childhood trauma and um, the karmic um, elements of, the, of the, the complex psychic impressions, coexist, karmic residues, we find that um, people who have been through psychotherapy, psychiatry, on medication, um, problems that were um, not couldn't find resolution to. A um, couple of sessions of say a breathwork um, workshop, where they've relived past life experiences, or indeed a shamanic past life regression or hip hypnosis, that um, the likes of Brian, Dr. Brian Weiss, um, psychiatrist, no interested in um, past life regression at all. In fact. It's anathema in, in, in modern psychology and psychiatry. But he came across a patient he called Carol, who started having these experiences and he started to run with it. And he started going with it, like any good therapist should do. That's what transpersonal therapy is all about. It's about following the client and see where they go. Not having any preconceived theories or ideas where the person should go to. And he followed her into the process. And this situation she had had all her life was, couldn't get any resolution to it. And uh, when he did past life regression with her, um, found that within six to ten sessions, this problem was resolved because she relived the past life trauma. And what I like about his work and, and, and Wilger's work is similar to Groff's. They, they, they don't just do a, a kind of a guided image thing, they do a catharsis. They allow the full emotional, physical, emotional, psychological expression of the residue. And when it's catharted, the issues seem to be alleviated and then the problem is resolved. Mm. So it's a, like a deliberate meeting of the pain, really. Suffering is the growing pains of the soul as we talked about in the last modules on spiritual emergency. And Jung said that himself, that it's only when we get into the actual suffering, fully experience it and express it, that the, the trauma is resolved. Whether that be from childhood, biographical, perinatal or past life. But the way I see it, you see, is it's all interrelated. This is why I love about Jung's idea, or Groff's idea of the coex, that the problem that's presenting today has its roots in deeper aspects of our biographical experiences, back down into, and the resolution of it often goes to what people call past life memories. And the great thing about this work that I find is you don't have to believe in reincarnation to benefit from the healing aspects of it. Like many of my clients don't have a particular belief in reincarnation, and I don't think they need to have. But when we do the guided imagery, or we do the visualization, or we do the regression, or the shamanic journey, and they relive this experience of being a peasant woman in 15th century France who was raped and murdered, um, or a soldier who died on a battlefield and 
is still carrying the pain and wounds in their physical bodies today or somebody who has a phobia of birds and found that they were dying on a battlefield and there was the vultures coming to eat them. When they relive those experiences, the issues resolve. Whether they believe in this reincarnation or not, it's not about a matter of belief, you see, with me. It's a matter of the experiential contact with the process and with the, co with, with the coex. And then the thing is, you fully experience it and you resolve it and let it go. And if people want to call that past lives, fine. If they want to call it something else, that's fine too. All I'm interested in personally, actually, is, is, is does healing take place? Mm. And it does in this world. Yeah, I think one of the things that really struck me with the last couple of courses is the idea of transpersonal therapists meeting the patients where they're at in a respectful way that respects their experience. That's right. And, it, it's and I think we shouldn't have um, any of our own ideas or processes in mind. And this talk is also going, I'm going to talk about things like um, how to do past life um, therapy. The methods uh, like deep memory process, hypnotherapy, breath work, shamanic counseling and journeying, active imagination, visualization and guided imagery, dream work and regression. And these are the different techniques that we use. Um, and and the, the processes of, of, of the healing happens along the lines of to thaw out all the frozen feelings, to bring negative thoughts and assumptions into consciousness in order to recognize them, to release pain or block energies held in the body, or to replay the old story and bring a resolution to the to what's going on. So it's, it's bringing people back into those deeper experiences through the methods I mentioned through visualization, regression. And I've added my own twist to it now, which is shamanic past life regression. It's using the drumming in the background, and, and I'll talk more about this later, um, while at the same time doing the, the classical hypnotic regression. And I find, because many of the people we work with have experience of shamanic journeying that they go f deeper, faster into those past life memories and the resolution happens much quicker for them. Because the thing about that is, you see, when you're doing that kind of work, you're bringing your guides with you. Your power animals are your guides. I've worked with people who've been abused, sexually abused as children, um, maybe going back to another lifetime where they were, died on a battlefield. And the fact that they can journey back and bring a power animal with them or a spirit guide and confront that situation there then um, feeling that they're not alone and they have help um, makes a huge difference. And how can people find out more about the course then? Just um, go on our uh, website, um, shamansomireland.com, um, our Facebook pages and our Instagram pages and uh, we're, we're all over the place because we're re I'm really particularly looking forward to this mo these modules because this work ties a lot of things together from my Jungian perspective, the transpersonal perspective and the shamanic. And I'm, I'm, I love the way um, we're moving under the transpersonal banner to integrating Jungian psychology, shamanism, Eastern philosophy and, 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 and traditions, and modern day experiential um, um, work like Stan Groff's work. Great, thank you for that. Thank you.